Sani Gonani, Dimala. Welcome to Let's Chat, my people. This is another episode, and like I said, guys, we're trying to make Let's Talk a podcast situation, um, but we're not there yet. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We'll get there. Okay. Um, and of course, my name is Bokan Gianni, and I've got with me a lovely guest, and her name is Sam Kelly. This man is Sirski. And today, what we're gonna be speaking about is enjoy the date. Of course. All right. Of course. Cause what else can we talk about? Huh? What else is rocking us? No. Why would we? Why would we? Why? There's so much. Eh? <laughs> There's nothing fun in terms of that. What's fun about today? Are you enjoying? Yeah. Are you enjoying our huh? Sorry. Are you enjoying our what? <laughs> okay, okay, let me Anyways. So yeah, I want to find out, Sanke. Um, I want you to introduce yourself. And I want you to give us a backstory, like right now, where are you, guy in Jordan? Like, where you wait, at? wait, wait, we didn't discuss this. What do you mean? We didn't, <laughs> we didn't talk about this. Yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm supposed to introduce myself, like my full name and everything. Yeah, <clears throat> even your alias if you have an alias. Yeah. My- Guys, I'm Sam Kelly Sensi Monday. I go by the name Sam Kelly. I am a presenter here at Tax FM. That's how I met Bokan. And I would like to think that I'm single, but I'm currently, you know, in a talking stage or something. No, let me not say talking stage because a lot comes with that. Yeah. I'm talking to someone, I'm seeing someone, we're going on dates, we're partying together, etc. That's all. Nothing crazy. You know, maybe it's gonna go south, maybe it's gonna go north. You don't know. Really. But yeah, what? Mm. Anyways, what? You know me, my name is Am I in a relationship? Yes, I am. Quite serious one. Yeah, she's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. Right, right. So I want to know. Yeah. Right. You're in a talking stage. What? What you people? See, I didn't want to say talking stage. I, I said rewind. I'm talking to someone. Right? Okay, you're talking to someone. So it's not a relationship. <clears throat> no. So I want you to, I want us to talk about you know in general, what does the talking stage involve? Okay, I feel like that's different for everyone, but for me, like yeah. we're in a talking stage, we're talking to each other, trying to get to know each other, we're going on dates. I like to think we're dating, but I really feel like if we're in a talking stage and you're in a talking stage with someone else as well like you're doing the same things you're doing with me or you're going on a date I really don't like and I get it yes you are like as a person you can see like multiple people sure. but that doesn't sit well with me like because we're building something are we not and you're building something someone mm-hmm. else I have to like that's a bit weird so um, are you saying a talking stage is exclusive yeah well if you what agree you mean, well I feel like this for me yes if we decide look we're in a talking stage and we're seeing each other and I see other people yes but obviously you can't just if you have if you don't have an agreement or some sort of like agreement, then it's you can't expect. So it's a communication. Yes, it's communication. I find that hard, man. I find that hard, but well, no, because I'm trying to. Is the what would you say is like your? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I don't want to say cycle, but like your process to marriage. Not to say with you. Yeah. yeah. Right. But like, you know, people would say like, okay, maybe it's, it's talking stage, it's going on dates, it's courting, it's engagement, then marriage, right? For some people, it's different, but I want to know from you, what's like your process? Okay, for yeah. me to even think about marriage, you have to be in a relationship first, right? Like, right. I'm not about to go from talking stage to engagement, like, I feel like we skip something there. <laughs> go through the talking stages, get to know each other, like, that can go on for as long as you guys decide you want to, you know? Sure. And then obviously that next thing could be a relationship, right? After yeah. everything, you feel like you've done, you know the person well enough to be in a relationship with them, which could be for however long. And then only like later, marriage, you can think of it. If I've been with you for like years and I'm happy and I really feel like this is something I want to do for the rest of my life, then yeah. yes, I can be with you. But then sometimes we know a relationship can end at any point and this is like something i was speaking about like last week in one of my shows that like, living with someone before marriage is that something you would do i know i'm going off topic but like how do you feel about it how do you Me. that also it's a thing now because you're talking about marriage relationship marriage obviously 
Are you, are you asking me? I'm asking you. Like if I would live. Like would you live with your partner before you get married, or you only gonna live with your partner? Never days. You won't live with. No. You won't. No. Oh. No. no. Why? What do you think? Why? I mean. Yeah, no, why? Okay. Okay. Let me I, let me say this right. My child is personally. Um, I'm a religious man. Yes. I'd like to think. Yeah. You know? Bro, God, you know the words, <laughs> right? But I think for me, like to say staying with someone. Like you're opening a door, which we're gonna speak about, like boundaries. But you're opening a door for things to cook up and things to happen, right? You can you can speak about self control. We can speak about things like that. But you're putting your relationship in a place where if you have boundaries, you're gonna probably break them. Okay. Or if you maybe let's say you guys weren't planning for a child, mm. you're putting yourself in a situation where it's conducive to. You know, to, to have one. So I think you're putting your, your, your relationship at risk, um, depending on obviously on what your values and your situations are. Okay. So for me, no. Never does. Okay. Okay. Wait. So I'm assuming when you get married, you're gonna go through the traditional and the western. You're gonna lobola and then the white wedding, right? Yeah. You're gonna lobola, right? Like I'm not sorry. really bothered. I mean, if it's a thing, yeah. What if your family wants? Then yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll give you So, would you love all her and then stay with her and then the Christian wedding, or you just you're gonna love all her? She still lives wherever she lives, and then you only live with her after the you know the whole blessing. Yeah, church. I think I think for me it has to be after the whole wow. um, church thing because as much as I'm not very culturally inclined, mm -hmm. you know, my basis is my religion, which is Christianity. So obviously the idea that you know it needs to be blessed and all that, yeah. So until that's done, I'm not gonna question. We're not gonna do that. So when you marry this person, like how often? Like okay, they're gonna go from being your girlfriend to your wife, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So how often are you seeing this person? Are you seeing? Is she like? Do you see each other five times a week, four days a week? I think that depends. That's very subjective. Mm -hmm. Relationships are different. So I'm not gonna say yeah, I'm gonna see my girlfriend, um, you know, like, but it, like it's, eight it's, times it's, a month. It's, you know, okay. Just for example, right. because yeah, it's very subjective to the relationship. It depends on her schedule, depends on my schedule. Where can we see each other? Are we okay for this? But how often are you willing to see her? Let me say that because I'm we, going to be with this. As often as both our schedules allow. Okay, right. So, uh, where, where are you going? With no, this? this is literally my last question, okay. and now I'm gonna lose it. Oh, okay. So let's say you guys see each other a week, maybe let's say four times. Bit. Right? You hang, go home, hang, go home. You never like spend like sleepovers and things like that. And I respect that that makes sense. It's a good thing to do. But how are you gonna go from seeing someone eight hours a day or maybe four times a week to literally live them with them? You live with this person. You live with them. You see them when they wake up in the morning. They come yeah. back home to you. They're cooking for you. All this thing of her leaving her shoes. That it's a habit you're gonna learn Bet. in marriage, or the, like a lot of the things you learn with living sleep with someone. You're only gonna learn with them when you've literally made a decision to stay with them forever. Which I'm not saying it is not. Oh, you, this is who you are. I'm gonna change. No, yeah. but you're gonna live with. You live with this person forever. Yeah. And you never ever. Yeah. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I think I'm, I'm not gonna be like, like, like what's the word? But I'm not gonna be foolish. Like I know it's not gonna be easy. Mm -hmm. I have to get used to like us living together. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think for me, that's that's the beauty of a relationship. You must beg as well. You know, you must work on things. Try new mm, things. That's the beauty of a so, relationship. You must beg as well. Yeah. I'm gonna I, bring that up for <laughs> I'm gonna bring that up if you say so. Sam. Well, you should. Um, I think I really do believe that, but obviously that comes with context of relationship in some situations. Yeah. But I just feel like it's with the cohabitating thing. I I just wouldn't mm. personally. Also knowing myself, you know what like um, my temptations and certain things that I don't want to do, like having a child out of wedlock. I don't want to get to that. Yeah. Book, you know? yeah. So having um, sleepovers and cohabitating is. Okay, wait, would you have sleep with your girlfriend? You don't have to do anything sleep like you literally literally know. Like Listen. the person just share a bed, wake up in the morning, hey, mwah. Like literally. Like 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 I said, I would listen. Do 
Do I want to? Yeah. <laughs> right? Let's be honest. Right? Yes, I, I would. But the practicality of you guys always with, uh, um, with abstaining, maybe mm -hmm. abstaining from, yeah. from sex or doing some stuff yeah. is going to be difficult. So I do not put myself in that position where no oh, oh, but, um, you, know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a five days ago, but one day, so we come today, leave tomorrow. Yeah, but then how many sleep are we doing? Oh, yeah. no. Yo. You see, so how many opportunities of temptation are there? I mean that. So what, what's your chance? Do you, would you do that? Would what? you commentate? I feel like ways? I would live with you if you've lower led me, because I feel like that's what my parents did, so I'll do it as well. I feel like... There we go, we're back. We're back. I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah. Hey, hello guys. Um, but I think I think um, cool. I hear the chat. We hear our chat. But I want to speak now about boundaries, right? Because we're in a like a society where boundaries are really like overlooked, or it's not even a thing. Yeah. You know, like we can cut today and it's fine. Like it's it's the norm. I can cohabitate with you for a month, for a year. That's okay. I mean, there's no. So I think I want to ask you, like, is the, do you have boundaries that you set for yourself when you enter into a romantic relationship? Yo, yeah. I'm sorry. Can you can you say your boundaries while I think of a way to put mine? Like I'm trying to think. Like that's a very broad question. Like boundaries in terms of what? Let's be like in, in in general. Like are they are they like your your do's and don'ts? Pretty much. Like do you have my do's and don'ts or my partner's do's and don'ts? Like in your relationship, do you have do's and don'ts? Definitely, they always have to be different, but they vary, I guess, like in terms of the person I'm with. But like the typical, I mean, I feel like the more you speak about this, I'll have more to say. But I like, yeah. the normal cheating and things like that, <laughs> I really down to it. Yeah, yeah. Down, down to it. Like, really don't. Like, I'm serious. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, just that. Yeah, cool. And like I was saying, building something with me while we're building and the same thing with somebody else. We might as well not do it. And they still communicate. I feel like just communicate with me, look, this is not a relationship, Sangin. This is one to three. And I will play the part. But if we're in a relationship or we're building a relationship and you're doing things that are sideways or you're acting as if we don't have an agreement, then that's my biggest boundary. Just act accordingly. Because I really do. I really do. And I feel like that's where everything just goes. I'm just loyal from day one. Day one. They are the damn Michi. I'm not gonna look at anyone else. I'm just gonna focus on you. Hey, so cheesy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Come on. Um, yeah, I think boundaries are a big thing. What, what boundaries like do you think you have? Yo, man. I have your gang, but that's subjective to my relationship. I'm not gonna put my relationship on air like that. Now I'm big YouTube. True. Nah, True. nah, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I do want to say that um, boundaries are a big thing in relationships. I think, well, for me, even speaking myself, mm. right? And I think that just becomes like like how I was raised, understanding, um, understanding purity. You know, like guys, I'm sorry, but I think I have a very like religious like background. So understanding purity, the importance of yeah, intimacy as well. That thing scares me. I remember, bro, oh, grade five. Ish. There was a girl in the hall, right? Ooh. She holds my hand. Mm. I physically started sweating. My heart beat so fast. Oh my goodness. Intimacy. High school, I mean, yes, you hug people and whatnot, but I think in the back of my mind, I always knew a hug wasn't just a hug for me. What? You know, like it was deeper than that. Like it's always been crazy. So, like, even more so in a romantic relationship. So, I think for me, like, boundaries are a big thing. Um, yeah. Yo. In a romantic relationship. I mean, friendships and that, we can talk about it another time, but I think. I get that. Yeah. That's my turn. And in this day and age, how would you say one should, like, navigate in general, you know? Because yeah, it's not easy. Right, like, the thing is, Nate, I'm not speaking in general, I'm not even speaking about me at this point. Please don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not in me, general. Don't. Like, don't at me. Like, literally, in this day and age, intimacy, like, like, I don't think anyone sees, like, as much value as you see, like, way in and now. Like, and I think that is completely absurd, because my friends are literally always saying, like, I do have a problem with pre, 
marital what premarital sex yeah 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 like they literally always come in for me for that and i think i also have a, i think i think the way you do but a bit less I yeah. i'm not gonna <laughs> so much because i do yeah, contradict yeah. myself I get but i do i get like 100 percent get what you're saying that's why i'm like seeing my eyes open so i feel like in this day and age i really don't know how to like there's no way to navigate there is no easy route there's no successful route you really just hope for the best because sometimes this thing of intimacy you have sex with someone on your first date and it could go two ways this person you can literally stay with them for like quite a long time because yeah, yeah. they like you or they just never want to come back or you just decide you know what we're not gonna be intimate for these three months 90 day rule and then 91st day this person will leave you like there's really nothing you can do i don't think there's any way to go about it it just depends now who's the type of person you're going for do you share the same values and just honestly do this <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like you really why yo yeah man relationships are easy yeah it's not easy. I so never is this i thing. use make myself for real like, honestly just just together jesus <laughs> <laughs> okay what would be your final thoughts like as we close up now yeah because I think, yo, in general, we can talk about it for, for, hours. for hours. And I don't make this video too long, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I want to know, like, what is, like, your final words that you'd like to say to people, but something maybe you would have liked to have known before you started engaging in Boom John or interacting with Majita or following the boys? No, Don't do it. Like, honestly. No, actually, I don't know, dude. I feel like... I mean, do like, okay, sometimes I do regret like half of the things I've done and I'm just like, hey, dude, like, what was the point? And then sometimes I'm just like, knowing myself, if I didn't do all those things, I probably wouldn't, you know, like, because I feel like as you go along, like, you learn, like, you take a lesson from each and every single thing that you do. But I really feel like if I'm going to close it off, yeah. you can just say, like, make sure that the person you are putting your efforts into and your time into is doing the same for you. Unless you just play, unless you're that, I think yeah, you can yeah. just go crazy. Spaz, call this person a hundred times, they don't answer, and you still go. But if you're playing and it's really just about the fun times, then do that. Go crazy, do whatever you want. Honestly, live once. But if you're trying to build something with someone, just make sure that you know you're reciprocating. Also, sometimes as a girl, you must make sure that he likes you more than you like him, because that's the only way it's gonna work, boo. It, honestly, if he's not obsessed with you, that's what I've learned in my experiences. I don't yeah. mean. I really just feel like the guy must like you more, dude. Otherwise, oh, it's very thirty um, percent chance that you know it's gonna go well. Because what happens is guys will be like, oh, okay. So yeah. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think for me, my final words are to each his own, eh? True. Cause I think there's a lot we can't force on people, and I think even us being so young, because we don't want to tell like exactly. we just <laughs> <laughs> Right? At the end of the day, I think uh, showing, um, having conversation. I love having conversation. Hence, yeah. it's talk, right? Um, but I think one thing is just yeah, as to each his own in the sense of we can't force things, but be careful. Like value yourself and value another person. You know what I mean? Like if you're not about relationships. It's okay, like, don't go out wanting to meet somebody else's daughter or somebody else's son. Like, that's another person as well, you know what I mean? You don't want to be hurt, they don't want to be hurt. Let's just respect that. I think for me, that's that's the biggest thing. Can I go, but like, please. My 2000, can I go, but that, that's us, that's me and you. Like, all right, let's change, you know? Yeah, let's do better. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's been Let's Talk on um, Jolo. If you enjoyed having some Keely here, uh, please do comment in the vibes down below, which is the comment section, and we'll hopefully see you in another video. So, okay? Right. Otherwise, peace, guys. Bye. <laughs>